It's a moment nearly six decades in the making. Friday, retired Colonel Paris Davis received the Medal of Honor, the country's highest military award. You are everything this medal means. In 1965, at the age of 26, Davis led a special forces team into combat in Vietnam. For nearly two days, he fought through his own injuries, engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat against Vietnamese forces, and refused to leave any of his soldiers behind. Saved each one of his fellow Americans. Every single one. This is far from Davis's first military honor, but did take the longest to receive. For reasons some linked to racism, the Army lost his recommendation for the Medal of Honor in 1965 and then again in 1969. But in 2021, the acting defense secretary called that an injustice and ordered a review of Davis's case. Last month, the president called to deliver the good news. And this year we celebrate the 75th anniversary of our first fully integrated armed forces and named Paris Davis will still stand alongside the nation's pioneering heroes. The now 83-year-old, who the president described as a humble man with Midwest roots, spoke to reporters briefly following the ceremony. God bless you, God bless all, God bless America. Davis served in the military for 25 years before retiring. He is now the 268th Vietnam veteran to receive the honor. In Washington, Raquel Martin.